It's that time of the year when we're itching to get our green thumbs in the garden. But the UP winter hasn't been too kind this year, so the ground is clearly not ready for planting. But as TV6's Iron Mountain Kingsford Bureau reporter Abby Miller tells us in our Facebook Friday story, there are ways to start prepping now for your outdoor garden. While the signs of spring in some places are slowly but surely beginning to show, Many green thumbs may be excited to start gardening. Peppers to tomatoes. But with the snow still on the ground, outdoor gardening at this stage is practically impossible. But as the Slagle Family Farm shows us, starting indoors is a great way to get a jump start on an outdoor garden. There's actually quite a few people that, that will start their own tomato plants from seed and pepper plants, you know, quite a bit of stuff like that. And while the Slagle family's greenhouse is, well, slightly larger than the average kitchen, Jason and Jennifer say that indoor gardening is very practical. It's really pretty simple. You just get, you know, your standard flats like this, which you can buy at uh, any, of the, any, of the, yeah, any of the hardware stores. And they come with some plastic lids that go over them, even though those are called humidity domes. Most of the time, they'll take anywhere from 10 to 12 days for most of the seedlings to come up. Well, out here on the farm, it's a nice 38 degrees, but as soon as you walk through this door, it is an instant 88 degrees in here, but that is the perfect temperature for these plants to start growing right away. Mostly here we see the vegetable gardeners coming in. Gromax, a company in Iron Mountain that specializes in indoor gardening, says that starting early really is best. It's a risk when you get outside with your plants because the weather might just decide to freeze one more time when you finally get outside. So the bigger and healthier they are when you, when you get started, the better. And when it comes to kids, there is great news. We found that with everything that we grow, they're more willing to eat a lot more vegetables that they help grow. It's all a way to help make spring come a little bit sooner. In Felch, Abby Miller, TV6 News. Well, a number of you commented on how indoor gardening helps you get a jump on the planting season. Therese says, once my seeds come up from the dirt, I transfer them to my grow lights so they don't get spindly. Actually, I just use four, four fluorescent lights. Nothing special, works great. When ready for planting, I let them sit on the porch in only partial sun for a few days before putting them in the ground. Thanks for your comments, and don't forget to check our TV6 Facebook page for other comments and stories.